um, slaughtering and troubleshooting. So we're gonna walk you through some basic troubleshooting steps. First, you'll take your multimeter and set it to uh, too fast on the uh, test resistance. You'll put uh, one pin of the multimeter on the plug of the ground wire and one on the top of the forehead, or as I call it, the magical donut of electricity and life. And it should reach uh, 450, but we disconnected it so that it's easier to show parts on it. And that's why it's not. So, uh, the inside, I'm going to show you. And this on the inside, it looks like this. And does anybody have to know? Tiny capacitors, resistors, IGBTs, and uh, fiber optics, fuses, lots of different stuff like that, phase jumpers. And uh, today we're going to be troubleshooting with the IGBTs. And so you're going to first check resistance by putting your multimeter on resistance. What a giant surprise. And uh, to make sure that it's on the resistance, <coughs> you want to make the noise. So I will put the pin see if the noise happens. That means it's happening. Hold the noise. So you're going to take one pin of the multimeter and put it on pin one of the uh, IGBT and put the other pin on the other um, pin three of IGBT and it should make the noise. There's a short circuit. That's good on that. Sometimes it's not good. So here we're going to do the same thing. It has noise. Good. So now we're going to put one of the multimeter's pins on the middle pin of each IGBT, like this, and it should not make the noise. It's making noise, so that's where we found our problem. So uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to desolder it, and uh, when you desolder it, it'll come from that <coughs> to this, and a brand new IGBT looks like this. So my favorite method of uh, desoldering is you'll get the soldering iron and you'll heat up and then use a soldering pump and you'll take the solder off using this. But there's also this other method where you'll heat the solder up and put the soldering braid on it and then put heat on the soldering braid and the solder will come on. That's why this has a little silver in it. And uh, so any questions? Oh, yeah, I forgot one uh, To make sure the fiber, that the electricity that shoots off doesn't, uh, the EMP that will shoot off doesn't hurt your computer, you use fiber optics, which that's what this is, and it connects to this using a fiber optic cable. And what uh, you do is, what I would do is to make sure it works, you connect it using the fiber optic cable, make sure it's unplugged, and take off the fuse, take off the fuse, and you're not going to take the fuse out. And you don't want to lose it. And but and if you but if you do do that, you can hear a little buzzing noise to a song. Uh, which noise song we have is Diane Cat. Uh, but what we can do is not connect them. But uh, this will link to the song uh, <coughs> that we have. So, um, it's connected now to the Diane Cat. got it, it just looked like this, and it had 34 pieces that I solder on, and 108 faces uh, uh, when you solder. So, any questions? Yes? Can you actually make your shoe? It's broken, that's why we can. Can I have you? We got it for one second. <laughs> <laughs> this we got, it, the longest we've gotten it was for like 30 seconds, but we didn't want that, and it like tried to kill our coil. It broke, but it was good fun.
thought that mattered. <laughs> this? this? Yeah. Uh, that's the connected to with. Put this on top of a torrid and it will shoot electricity from there. You got to work one second and it was pretty amazing, then it killed on IGBTs. Did you make it work for longer? Well, when we did make it work for longer, it was hurting our coils, so we're like, eh. this right here. Uh, there's a thing you can do with the fiber optic. 